I got into a lot of fights, whether it was people trying to, I mean, I, I couldn't walk to my car without being called a fag and someone trying to like open my car door to try and pull me out of it or being at a football game and then getting into a fight because somebody thought, Hey, let's beat up this guy that ever, you know, we all make fun of for being gay. And then luckily I won the fights because they didn't know that I had taken boxing and karate, mm. but I, but that's the thing when you take those is, is like, it's all about like, I, I do everything I can to not hurt somebody with these tools it's important yeah. for me to know that I can defend myself and so I never really felt like I had anything to prove well I mean let's start there I mean I think it's one of the things of like you were always authentically connected to yourself I know that you've talked about you coming out actually to your mom at 16 what was that like for you um it was kind of funny because I was nerve I was scared to tell her Cause she had just done that, like that really awkward talk where like a parent holds up a pillow and they're like on a woman's body, this is the lower half of the body. No. And I'm like, don't you have this fucking conversation right now? No. And so it was probably a couple months after that, that I was like, I really, I, I got to sit my mom down. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so I was like, I remember saying, mom, I have to tell you something. And so she sat, sat us down and she was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, of course. She said, what? Okay. So I'm like, mom, and it took me a while. And I said, I'm gay. And she was like, yeah, I know. And I was like, okay, but how do you feel about that? She said, I'm your mother. Of course I know. Do you still want to go to the movies or not? Like it was it literally, that was it. I had a completely different experience with other family members, but that was really the easiest coming out to that. And like I say, she has always been my champion. If anyone would ever do anything or if I was ever scared or if I ever felt vulnerable and I didn't know what to do. Like my mom was the, my champion. She championed my dream. She worked overtime just so we could afford money to get on a Greyhound. And I would do my homework on the buses going to Chicago to audition. I remember like she, she was like, I'm here doing what I'm doing because of her. I think a lot of what I hear as well is like, she understood that coping through creativity was your tool back then to be able to get through high school and to be able to navigate when was the right time for you to come out in a public setting to people that you felt you didn't have to be able to explain yourself to. And I think that that's the thing is like, it's, it's your story. It's your path. It's your journey. 